It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Wednesday, January 11th, 2012. I am James Burns bringing you the New Hampshire primary results for both parties. That's right, the Republicans and the Democrats. Who else is doing that? Nobody. So we're going into the Republicans first, and Romney, as predicted, was easily the winner. He came in first place with 39% of the vote. Coming in in second place, Ron Paul with 23%. In third place, John Huntsman with 17%. Looks like he lives to fight another day. Tied for fourth place, it's Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. They got 9% each. And Rick Perry was the 1%. (laughs) Seriously. And Buddy Romer, he um, came in less than 1% with uh, 833 votes. So Ron Paul had a very good second place finish. Hopefully that will impress more of the voters out there and make people realize that he is a serious contender for the GOP. He's at least the number two guy right now. And John Huntsman came in third place, not as well as he was anticipating with 17%, but it seems to be just enough to keep him going on to South Carolina, along with Rick Perry. And that's where Rick Perry has been focusing a lot of his efforts, is South Carolina. And if Rick Perry doesn't do so well in South Carolina, he's probably going to be done. And probably the same thing for John Huntsman. He'll probably be done as well after South Carolina. So those two will probably be dropping off. Meanwhile, Gingrich and... Santorum will most likely stay in the race for a bit longer. I think one of the reasons why Huntsman is going to be going out is because he didn't do as well as he was hoping in New Hampshire. I mean, he spent a lot of time and effort and money in New Hampshire, and he was really thinking that he was going to get the number two spot, but he didn't. He also failed to get on the ballots in Virginia, Illinois, and Arizona, so John Huntsman is probably going to be out of here, but we'll see. And I'm predicting that Rick Perry will be gone as well. On average, I think 2008 had more votes overall. Uh, John McCain, of course, came in first place with 37% of the vote. Mitt Romney came in second place back in 2008 with about 31% of the vote. So he did much better this time around with 39%. And Ron Paul did way better this time. Back in 2008, he only got about 7.65%. This time, 23%. So both Ron Paul and Mitt Romney did a little bit better four years later. Moving on to the Democrats. President Obama easily won the New Hampshire primary with 82% of the vote. And Vermin Supreme only got 1%. But He did get over 700 votes, so that's not too shabby. Perhaps in 2016, the Democratic Party will be ready to embrace Vernon's supreme pony-based economy and mandatory toothbrush laws, but time will tell. Another poll worth checking out is the Drudge primary poll that they did today, and I came across it around 2.35 p.m. Central, so that's when I started keeping track of it. Around 2.35, Ron Paul was in the lead with 10,000 votes at 28%. He continued to stay in the lead all the way through the afternoon. 3 o'clock, 29% of the vote with 25,000 votes. 4 o'clock, he jumped up from 25,000 to 48,000. And, of course, at 5 o'clock, he was up to 67,000. And at 6 o'clock, he was up to 85,000. And by the time the Drudge poll closed, he was at 99,750 votes. And coming in second place was Mitt Romney, with 83,000 votes, and in third place was Rick Santorum with 64,000 votes, and Newt Gingrich with 52,000 votes. You can find us online at freedomfiles.us. From there, you can check out past shows, past guest interviews, web shows, doc reviews, and we're also linked up to several social sites, such as Facebook. We're at YouTube. Please subscribe to us, Freedom Files US. Follow me on Twitter and vote in our poll question, how is 2012 going to go down? Log on to freedomfiles.us and cast your vote. Coming up on Thursday, we'll be joined by Bob Chapman. TheInternationalForecaster.com is his website. And if you have a question for Bob, send it my way via freedomfiles.us. And I will talk to you Thursday, along with Bob Chapman, for another edition of the Freedom Files podcast.